is Jim from Teacher Online Training and Teachers Love Smart Boards. I want to give a very informal overview of uh, a new feature of Smart Notebook 10, and that is the ability to align objects on the page. So let me show you what I mean by bringing out some objects. Uh, oops, let me go to the gallery and grab some flags. Let me grab the United States. Uh, hey, I lived in the Virgin Islands for a while. That's actually where my wife is from. And uh, let me see what else. Uh, hey, why not Canada? Okay, there we are. All right, we have three flags, three objects. I'm going to change the size of them just because I want to show you a few neat things you can do. Let's make that one a little bit smaller. Okay, now let's say I want to align these flags so they're aligned on the left-hand side, um, but they're, they're perfectly in alignment on the left. I can do it visually, and I may get it right. Um, however, there is another way to ensure that uh, they are aligned accurately. So the way to do that is go up to your format menu and click alignment. And from here, simply click on show guides for your active objects. And click OK. Now when I move things, let's say I want to, here's my Canadian flag, I want it in alignment with uh, the U.S. flag. I just move it until I see a little, let me move this out of the way for right now, until I see a um, little gray line on the left side of these flags. That way I know that they um, are in alignment on the left. Now I just grab my other object and I look for the line to appear. All three objects are now aligned on the left. And that does help uh, create a uh, more visually appealing file. Now what else can I do with this? Well, first of all, you may have said, hey, that alignment guide is kind of tough to see. I thought so. So let's go to Format, Alignment, and let's make it in uh, a little bit more contrast to the background color, which in, right now is white. I'm going to make it a, a deep blue. Click OK. Um, and let's go ahead and align these on the right. Um, move the flag there. Take my Canadian flag until I see the alignment guide show up. There it is right now. So now I see it, I let go. Now sometimes it's hard to let go at the precise moment. So before I align the Virgin Islands flag, I'm going to go to Format, Alignment, I'm going to click on Snap Objects to Guide. There, selected, click OK. Now what's neat about that is it, it kind of, when it gets close to the alignment of uh, one of the objects, it kind of snaps it in place and it makes it easier uh, to get it where you want it. There you go, everything's aligned on the right. Now there is a middle or center alignment guide, let me show you how that works. Um, put uh, that object where I want it. Um, hey, how do I know that that American flag is centered on the page? Well, I do have another option here, this is a pretty neat thing. Format, alignment, um, let's bring up my vertical and horizontal page center guides. There they are. So I can see, and this has snap too, so boom, it snaps right into the middle um, of my guide. So I know it's right in the middle of the page. And let's put the Canadian flag right in the center, and it snaps right in place. It's really neat. Um, so that's uh, very neat uh, features on the alignment. You'll, you'll find aligning things um, easier than it was in the early versions. All right, so what else can we do with this? Uh, well, there is a neat trick with these alignment guides. Um, let's go ahead and say I want these three flags. I'm going to move them. I want them aligned on the left. Okay, pretty easy, isn't it? Look how easy that was to do. And I also want to have them be the same width. And they're definitely not the same width right now. So the first thing you do is uh, resize one of the flags to the width you want all of them to be. In this case, uh, change the United States to that width. Now I want uh, my Canadian flag to be the same width. And so what I do is I simply take my flag, make sure it's aligned on the left with uh, the American flag. And now I can simply drag my resize handle until all three alignment guides appear with the American flag. There they are. That means if I'm aligned on the left and the right and in the middle, which I am right now, that means it's the same width. Boom. Let's try the Virgin Islands flag. Click. It's, on, it's aligned. Start with aligning to the left, and then simply drag until the alignment guides appear. And I am good to go. Now, they're not the same height, um, but they are the same width right now. So, And you can use it to control 
the height of this as well. If you were up here and you wanted everything the same height, uh, get things aligned at the top, take your first object, and wait till let me get this out of the way. You may move some of the objects temporarily so it's easier to focus on um, two objects at a time. I simply move that flag. There you go. And they are the same height. Now I take this, align it at the top, and I'm going to shrink it up until there it is. My three alignment guides show up. There you go. Everything the same height and align pretty well. So that's it. A really nice feature um, in the new uh, smart notebook version 10 is the ability to align objects more easily. Thank you.